Helix Labs. Before we start I would like to thank the support that you have been offering to us. We do our best to entertain and provide with cool facts. Back to the video. Hi fellow scientists today we will be talking about Cas9 and how it can potentially increase the average life expectancy of human beings. Before I go into the details of Cas9 I am going to say a few things about it like what it is etc. Cas9 is a protein and a defense mechanism that bacteria use but often too late to stop the virus from killing it. It plays a vital role in protecting the bacteria from DNA viruses and plasmids. This is called immunological defense. Now into the details of Cas9. Cas9 stands for CRISPR-associated protein 9. Now we are getting to the technical bits that I will break down for you. Cas9 is a dual RNA-guided DNA endonuclease enzyme associated with the CRISPR adaptive immune system in Streptococcus pyogenes. This in simpler terms means dual RNA, which is DNA, guided system DNA endonuclease, which are enzymes that cleave the phosphodiester bond within a polynucleotide chain. That means, cleave the phosphodiester, which is, it occurs when exactly two hydroxyl groups in phosphoric acid react with other hydroxyl groups on other molecules to form two ester bonds. Now back to the explaining, are enzymes that cleave the phosphodiester bond within a polynucleotide chain. The polynucleotide chain is a polynucleotide molecule is a biopolymer composed of 13 or more nucleotide monomers covalently bonded in a chain. If you would like to know the meaning of that, please check the description where I define all the key words. CRISPR stands for clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats. Streptococcus pyogenes is a species of gram-positive, aerotolerant bacterium in the genus Streptococcus. Now that complicated sentence is out of the way we can talk about how Cas9 and its parts work. Cas9 uses Streptococcus pyogenes to copy the DNA that is being inserted by the virus, and the Cas9 will interrogate and check if the DNA matches any old scans if it does it will sever the connection of DNA and if it doesn't match it will still sever and take a scan using Streptococcus pyogenes. Now that we understand how Cas9 works and what it uses we can talk about its life increasing potentials. There are advantages and disadvantages to using Cas9 and I will state them all as well as I can. Cas9 could potentially increase human life expectancy because it can cut out the invading viral DNA out of the bacteria and you need bacteria. If you use this defense system both in the vital bacteria in your stomach and your cells you could live longer. If you use it in cells it can protect it from dangerous viral invasions too. But this does come at a cost. When is say cost I mean in health and money. First if anything goes wrong in the Cas9 processes, after all it is CRISPR, which isn't that reliable as it only engineers one cell and it doesn't permanently stay engineered, more on that later, the bacteria or your cell will be endangered and could die. And also the price to engineer all the cells will cost a fortune so it won't really work but when technology advances it will definitely be a good idea. Now that we understand Cas9 and why it is a benefit for humans we can talk about how Cas9 is made and the method of which you can make and use for many other things. Here is a simpler definition to CRISPR. CRISPR is a family of DNA sequences found within prokaryotes e.g., bacteria, algae. We use CRISPR for a lot of things e.g., simplifying genetic diseases etc. It is a simple but yet powerful tool for altering the function of the genome in any given organism. Its main function is to correct genetic defects and prevent genetic diseases. Back to the unreliability of CRISPR. As I said before CRISPR is very unreliable because it only engineers one cell and leaves all the others untouched. The problem with that is when that cell replicates it won't replicate with the new ability it will still be its old self as CRISPR is not able to so did not engineer the bone marrow and the correct parts of the cell meaning only the cell it engineered stays engineered and once that cell dies the new ability that the engineering made will go until it is done again. Another reason why is that you would have to genetically engineer the whole body as in trillions of cells. First that would take too much time and too much money and second once those cells die and replicate, as I said above, the old deformed cells will be back. So that is why it would be too hard and unreliable to use CRISPR in everyday life and for serious medical issue. Although it is always worth a try, not including the price. 
I would like to say that one of my YouTuber friends XD Ladatabeast's channel with 752 subs got hacked and deleted. I am saying this because all of his hard work went to waste and this happened because he gave small but personal details to some random person who was meant to edit his thumbnails. He has learnt his lesson and I am saying this because we don't want the same to happen to you. He has also been a great help in this channel so help his new but better channel out by subbing to XD La Data Beast. And like his videos. Thank you for watching our video. Our next video will be out in 2 to 10 days. We usually would do animations but with your support we can make that happen more often. If you like the video click the thumbs up button and if you want more videos like this subscribe to Helix Labs, we put a lot of time and effort into our research and soon we will with the visuals too. Getting the correct facts out to you is incredibly important to us. Stay in touch with the channel.